welcome to today's lesson video. We are on pages 38 and 39 of My First Piano Adventure Writing Book B. Steps on the staff. These are the writing activities that go along with Gallup Pony. So let's go ahead now and take a look at what we have on these pages. It says here that for Horses and Saddles on page 34, we have two different saddles here for the horse. And we, what we want to do is we want to circle all the saddles with base clef G. Okay, so we have two options. We have this one right here, or this one right here. Which of those shows this bass clef G, which is the top space, or this note right there? So, of all these choices, take your crayon or your pencil and circle the one that's bass clef G. And we'll go ahead and review those at your lesson. Next, it says to play and say the rhythm of your name on bass clef G. Use only your any left hand finger. So, for example, if I were to place my right left hand in C position and my finger number one will be playing G, the way I say my name is Joseph. Joseph. Can you do that with letter G or note G in the left hand? Place your thumb or any left hand finger on G and say your name. Each syllable you will play the G. Okay, so that's Horses and Saddles on page 34. Let's take a look now at page 35. Secret Hand Signals. So, this is Secret Hand Signals. We're working with bass clef G. A and B. So this is a very interesting activity. Tips from tap the little bug there. It says here, do these three hand signals with your teacher and say the names aloud. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. A looks kind of like this. Notice that tap is on top. G Oh, I get it. So this is supposed to represent the top line of the staff. So A is the top line of the staff. That's why you keep your hands nice and flat. G, you take your fists and place it underneath the top line of the staff. See how it sits there in the space? This is G right here under the top line. And then B is on top of the top line. So it's just above the staff. So we have A, the line, G, below the line in the space, and B, on top of the line, above the staff. Now, sing this song with your teacher and do the secret hand signals for each note. And let's do this at many of the lessons. It says here, your teacher then will do a hand signal and you will have to name the note, and then you can do it for me. All right, let's first take a look at... A, oh, sorry. A, G, B, A, G, B, A, K. Let's now take a look at the melody down here. The song we're going to sing is as follows. Place your finger number two on A right there, finger number one on B, and then finger number three on G. Very good. Let's now go ahead and sing this melody very quickly, and then we're going to do it with the hand signals. One, two, three, four. A is the Oh. Uh -huh. 
your release. Okay, let's now go ahead and do this with our hand signals. Ready? Starting with A right here. And so show me those hand signals. Know which note it is. Either the top line, the space below, or the space above. Here we go. One, two, three, four. A is the top line step down to G. A is the top line step up to B. A is the top line step down to G. you do? Were you able to sing the notes, the lyrics, and show me the hand sign signals as well? Now these hand signals, once again, help you remember where the notes are, either on the line, on the space below the line, or on top of this line above, on the staff. Okay, so let's go over these every day, and we will see you at next lesson.